Hello, my name is Chloe. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing to you weekly reading vlog number 120. <laughs> I'm not going to talk to you for too long right now. It is eight o'clock at night and I need to go for a shower and I also have three buddy reads to do. So I'm going to tell you what they are and then hopefully catch up with you tomorrow. The first one, as you would have seen in last week's vlog, is Immune by Philip Detmer. I am technically ahead of this one right now, but I am going to take a few days off reading it towards the end of the week, so I'd like to read another chunk. I then have Night House by Lee Bardugo, which you would have also seen last week, and I have about 60 pages to read of this tonight, so I'm going to be doing that. And today is the first day of the Chloe's Crime Scene Corner buddy read, which is What Lies Between Us by John Mars, and I'm very excited to read this one. So all of these books to read. Um, I'm just gonna go for a shower first and chill out. <laughs> hello, hello. It is now Saturday. I don't actually remember the last time I vlogged. I don't even remember introducing this vlog, so that's gonna be really interesting to see the editing. Um, it's Saturday. It's like basically 12 o'clock. I've done nothing. Um, and I have a lot to do today in terms of reading. My reading has dropped massively this week. I've just not been motivated. And um, I think I know why. <laughs> I think I know what book has caused it um but yeah it's just making me really not want to read um because it's not my thing I went to a Kane Brown concert last night and I loved it obviously I can't play at you with sound but you can see how close I got with some things I'm putting on the screen um I had an amazing time my voice hurts my ears were ringing and it was just such a fun concert experience I it, I don't even know what to say it was really cool it was really cool and I loved it. Um, anyway, I'm making another TikTok today. I feel like if I haven't done any reading, making a TikTok really motivates me because I can like prove how much I can read. I don't know, it's weird. But my first job of the day is tidying up my apartment. So I'm listening to Neon Gods by Katie Robert. I'm not sure where I am now, but I was about 100 pages in when I picked it up today. And I've been tidying for like, oh, I say tidying, I've got distracted by things, but I've been tidying for like half an hour listening to that. I then want to finish What Lies Between Us by John Mars. At this point, I really like the story, but I've basically guessed everything so far. So who knows whether it's all going to twist around on its head and I've guessed nothing but everything so far I have guessed. I also need to read Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. I'm seeing Lee Bardugo on Wednesday next week and I still have not finished my reread of the first book in the series and I want to read Hellbent. I'll probably be reading Hellbent on Wednesday to be honest so there is that and I'm also reading Immune by Philip Detmer. I am a I am a day behind on the read along so far. I'm about halfway through. I'm on page 140 and I need to get to page 186 today. So I will do that at some point. But yeah, tidying and milling about. I am going to try to not get a Chinese tonight, but we will see. Okay, it is like 3 p.m. on Saturday and I checked the footage and no, I have not vlogged this week. I feel like vlogging has just become such a natural part of my day. Like, you know when you forget when you're in the shower if you've shampooed or not? So you just do it again anyway. <laughs> I've done the opposite. I thought I'd been vlogging all week so I haven't filmed any vlog clips. <laughs> anyway, um, I finished What Lies Between Us by John Mars. And I did really like this book, but I've given it four stars. Um, and I... <sighs> should I unhaul it? I might hold on to it for a little while. But basically... I guessed it like pretty much every plot point apart from the ending like the actual ending I guessed everything um from quite early on so it just was a bit too obvious for me what was happening um whether that's my fault for listening too much true crime I don't know but apart from the fact I knew what was happening the whole time I think this was really really good it was written really well it was easy to read I found myself reading like a hundred pages in a go just because I wanted to carry on reading. Um, the main characters were so dislikable that you just wanted the worst to come to them but then you felt some pity but then you wanted the worst again. It's very very hard to wrap your head around. I would be hesitant to recommend this book because it is really really dark and that's what's concerning me on the fact that I guessed every plot point because this is one of the darkest things I've ever read. Um, but yeah, guessed it all and nothing fazed me. So what that says about me, I do not know. 
I have also been listening to a lot of Neon Gods. I have just got to about page 220. Um, so I'm probably gonna finish listening to that by the end of the day. Um, I've read one section of Immune, so I'm gonna read another one now. I think it's like 20 pages. Uh, just get another one of those done. And uh, then on to Ninth House, but I've really done nothing apart from tidy up and read. Um, and I don't even feel that tidy. Okay, we've shimmied around slightly. Please enjoy the view of my hoover. Um, I had three Amazon parcels. So if you saw what I did at Christmas, um, any Amazon parcels that came in, I wrapped them up in wrapping paper, just so they look a bit more appealing for my birthday. Um, and I do have a little bit of a stack going. Ignore any mess that you can see. The stack of presents is what's important. But this one has arrived and I can see here that it's gift wrapped. So I wanna see who it's from. Obviously I won't open it. I just wanna see, cause I'm nosy. This is two things that are gift wrapped. Okay, they're not sealed, so I will seal them up. But these are from Freya. Happy birthday, Chloe. I hope you have an amazing day. Um, and this is in capital letters, enjoy your gift. So I am just gonna seal these up and add them to the stack. So thank you Freya, I knew they were coming today and Freya's birthday is the same day as mine. So make sure everyone wishes Freya a happy birthday also. Um, but yeah, I just like adding presents to the stack. Thank you so much guys. Okay, this is gonna be, oh, that's probably annoying. This is gonna be a very, very, very quick update because I am running out the door, um, but I haven't seen my goddaughter in the, late, the latest, in the longest time. Can I get that so there's no box? There we go. Haven't seen her in the longest time and I've been saving up books to hand over to her. So I thought I'd show you what they are really, really quickly. These have been planning for a while. We have Rockstar Detectives by Adam Hills, Sleepover Takeover by Simon James Green, Best Friends by Jacqueline Wilson, The Lottie Project by Jacqueline Wilson, there's then like a coloring page and some pencils. Um, and then my two favorites in here, we have Pages & Co, number one, and The House for Chicken Legs. So let's hope she wants these. <laughs> hello, hello. I bet you can just hear the tumble dryer, but never mind. Um, it is Sunday. It's about lunchtime and um, my goddaughter loves the books. She's really excited and she wants to come stay around here again so we can read and have a sleepover, which is so cute. Um, I'm currently watching Victoria's Sprints and um, I did just finish off Neon Gods by Katie Robert. This I think is my favorite Katie Robert so far. I've given it four stars. I really did enjoy it. It's Hades and Persephone smut. And I don't understand that much about mythology, but I did follow it enough for this book. So that was cool. Like I did kind of know who we were talking about. It was weird though, because I was me I was meshing Percy Jackson, which is a middle grade, Jean's book to, get to enjoy this smut. So that was weird. Um, but yeah, four stars. I actually did like the story. I thought the smut was definitely to Katie Roberts level, but not completely overwhelming. And um, I had a good time with it. It made me feel warm and fuzzy inside and the puppies were cute. So yeah, enjoyed this. Um, as it's Sunday, I would typically be doing reading sprints, but I have decided not to again. Um, and as you will see, obviously this vlog is very short. I've had quite a lot going on. That was loud. I've had quite a lot going on and I'm feeling a whole lot of things. Um, so it did occur to me that I could just not put a vlog up, but then that will just make me feel worse. Um, so I'd rather just put it up anyway. I am just a little bit down, just a little bit down. That's really all it is. I've got some big life changes coming, um, hopefully, and I'm scared about those, um, which obviously you will hear all about when it when it's happening. Um, I'm not moving to America, don't panic. But um, yeah, I have some pretty big life changes and um, I'm just a bit tired and overwhelmed. So it gets to me quite emotionally. Um, but in true crazy mouth fashion, she has let me know a parcel is arriving today because she is the best. Um, I, d I literally don't deserve her and she's in a lot of trouble. Um, I like full named her when she said she'd sent it because she's in trouble. My dad's coming around in about two hours to hopefully fix my chair, fix some light bulbs and build an Ikea unit for me, which I can use for more book storage. So that's at least a bit of a positive spin on today. I was thinking of moving some furniture around, but also I don't know whether that's a good idea. I don't know. No, I, th I don't think I will move furniture. I'll let him build it and then I'll plan later. Um, but time to clean everything in my flat, hide all my clean clothes in my bedroom rather than the bathroom, which is where they're currently hidden um, for when he comes around. 
and yeah just try and make myself feel better today i'm thinking clean flat happy mind hopefully so my dad's just come round and built me this which is from ikea i have these two boxes that you can't really see down here they're gonna go in the bottom of this and that's gonna go in that corner and i've got hiccups i'm gonna decorate the top a little bit and these two are gonna be for books i don't know what books yet but they're gonna be books so i will show you when it's done and i have more storage for my tiny living room okay so i won't show you my whole set up my whole living room because that feels a bit weird um but i have just moved everything um well not everything my computer is in the same space by the window my books are still here next to that but everything else in the room is slightly different and one reason for it is i don't watch my tv in here so we have my sofa which granted looks a little crowded i will sort that but it's blocking you can't sit on my sofa now and watch tv this table's going obviously and these are my birthday presents um but this will change but I'll, I won't be able to sit on the sofa and watch TV, which is fine because I don't do that anyway. And then we come along to the new setup. So we have the sweets that Victoria got me for Christmas are in this nice box. A few books I've already hauled this month. So we have one from Adrienne, Mal and Victoria. Some presents I've had in the past from Chelsea. Candle, lamp, um, picture of me and my best friend on a coaster. Then this section is the books I've read so far this month. And then I'm going to put my TBR for the next month in front of it somehow um but i kind of like it and this was actually from victoria too this is more candles and blankets this one is random stuff including queen monopoly and my camera battery charger but still pushed away in the little thing and then down here we have the overspill of books that was under my sofa there's still loads of room in here and this is the candle i got from kayla so yeah i think this looks pretty cool I'm really liking this rearrange business. I've just filmed a video sat on my sofa with my tapestry background. I think it looks great. I think the lighting is good. Um, but yeah, really enjoyed this new setup. I have not done any of the reading I need to do. I need to read Immune and basically finish Ninth House. But first up, I'm starving, so I'm gonna make some dinner. Uh, this day has completely gone away from me. Next week is gonna be stressful. So I'm gonna try and update you a few times more because I really have said nothing. I wasn't recording and I've just been talking to the camera for two minutes and then it shut off due to inactivity. <laughs> Whoops. I'll start again. I just can't open the package and be surprised, which is the best part. But what I was saying was Crazy Mal learned about my bad day and um, I should never tell her when I'm having a bad day because gifts arrive because she's too good. She's too good. <laughs> so very tempted to crack into this straight away we have a 300 gram massive bar of fruit and nut i stand by it fruit and nut is my favorite you cannot convince me otherwise and the book she's got me which only went on my wish list yesterday genuinely about 24 hours ago so i was at my auntie and uncle's house and we were watching lee evans and this is the life of lee um i've never really thought that much about lee evans i don't think many of us have uh if you don't know if you're not from this side of the pond or whatever um lee evans is a british comedian and i think he is absolutely hilarious i will cry watching his comedy i just think he's so good um and apparently his memoir is quite emotional um he had a, li a proper little love story with his wife and i believe they lost a child um and i think it's quite quite heartfelt the life of lee is an utterly hilarious and very moving autobiography charting his ups and downs on the way to the top lee takes us on a darkly humorous journey through his childhood spent running wild on a bristol housing estate unconventional school days and a grim teenage period of numerous dead-end jobs also revealed is how as a boy lee got his first taste of showbiz accompanying his entertainer father around the rowdy unforgiving working men's club and theater circuit struggling to be accepted this quiet young loner always saw himself as an outsider but he finally met the love of his life and accidentally discovered the one place where he felt at home the stage and i really like lee evans so i am so happy that i now own this thank you so much mal of course i will continue to tell you when i'm having a bad day i don't discount you as a friend because you keep buying me presents um but i'm so grateful for you you know that um if i hadn't cried so much today already i would take myself away and cry now so thank you hello hello it is pretty late now on sunday i say that it's like 10 um and if you can tell by my face i'm starting to get sick i don't have the time for this right now i've just been sat reading immune for a very very long time 
and um i will not lie to you because i never lie i don't love reading this right now i'm i'm finding it hard to stay motivated because it is just it's non it's non-fiction um and some of the comments yes are quite humorous um but i'm kind of not i'm not really taking any information in at this point so i'll have more of an update on this next week when i finish it um but just not a massive massive fan right this second um i feel awful so i'm gonna get in the shower and get in fresh pajamas because that always helps um maybe try and read more of ninth house i'm still like halfway through it there is no way i'm gonna read hellbent by wednesday um i might be reading hellbent on wednesday but that's fine right as long as i just remember what happened up to the end of ninth house um but yes i don't really have an emoji to ask for this week either i'm really not prepared not prepared but i want to go to bed so i'm going to wrap the vlog up um seeing as i've moved all my furniture around and my dad was telling me how pink it is in here can we please have any pink emojis the color pink uh, it'll probably just be hearts but pink things please would be appreciated to show me you got to the end of the vlog that was relatively loud it won't be hard to get to the end of the vlog this week because it's going to be short so sorry about that and i hope i can bring you more content next week I may also have massive life decisions in next week. So stick around. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.